Hi, right, um, my name is Daphne. I'm one of the essay correctors here at artspodcast.com. Thanks so much for sending in your essay for correction. Really good to hear from you. And I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are safe um, and good that you're getting on with your arts preparation. That's fantastic. So I'm going to look at your task two first. International marketing is sometimes seen as invasive and an intrusion. So we need to para uh, paraphrase these keywords here into the country in question. Others argue it's necessary and an economical form of education. So there's a lot of uh, stuff, isn't there, in this question. So we'll try and go through it. So here we go. Forced advertisement advertisement targeted at different online platforms as well as any multinational company's marketing strategy in a foreign place poses advantages and drawbacks for the host destination host nation. Although, any might, although many might elucidate this as cultural hegemony, which could have an enormous difference on the younger generation, some rightfully declare that this is a necessary instrument in the contemporary competitive world where trade and commerce is the blood and brain of sustainability. Okay, wow, very strong opening paragraph here. Okay, uh, let me just check how long this is. Okay, I'm kind of feeling this is quite long for an introduction and that maybe some of these points could be going into the actual essay. Um, so forced advertisement targeted. I don't know where you've got this idea of forced from, so I would question that. So advertisement or global advertising, because this is an idea of international, so I think I might put in here global. And advertising, I would use, not advertisement. Advertising. Targeted different online platforms. Okay, so you're just assuming online. Um, as well as any multinational any multinational company's marketing strategy in a foreign land. Uh, pose advantages and discrimination. Yes, I don't think I would use that there because I like this. I like the word pose. So I would say better actually could sometimes. It's important that you take a step back, you distance yourself, you're not making a big statement that in this essay you cannot prove. So sometimes pose challenges for the host nation. Okay? This is easier to read. It, you don't, I mean, remember, even in a band nine, your language needs to be natural and sophisticated. As a native speaker, I need to naturally understand what you're trying to say rather than it being too complicated for me. Okay? Because sometimes there's challenges for the host nation, and then you're going to tell me what they are. Although many might elucidate this, mm, I think explain is okay. As cultural hegemony, um, which may particularly um, uh, influence the younger generation. So I like the modal verbs here. May, this is something I recommend to all my students, may, could, really, really important. Uh, which may particularly influence the younger generation, some rightfully declare. So your tenses are a little bit all over the place here. Just stick with one tense. So um, so could pose, uh, may, um, so it may influence, some rightfully declare. So present simple here. This is a necessary instrument in contemporary compest in uh, the contemporary competitive world where trade and commerce is the blood and brain of sustainability. Okay, I don't really like blood and brain of. Uh, that's not a phrase that we naturally use. Uh, just you can go into here it, of sustainability. Yeah, or of economic success, maybe might be better. Um, economic success. Okay, so again, trying to make the writing sound a bit more natural. Uh, right, I want your opinion, because this is an opinion essay. So at this stage in your intro, you need to put your opinion, which is why you may need to shorten this in uh, first paragraph a bit. Then you can put, this essay will discuss both views, uh, using examples from, okay? 
and then I want you to organize your paragraphs so you're going to give me an example where they're going to come from. Um, I don't want this here. Okay, I think you can save that for the body of your essay. Okay, and so this uh, you've probably done IELTS before. It's looking like you've got quite nice writing here, uh, but there may be some issues on the organization. Okay. So when foreign investors or franchises establish businesses, they mainly target the growing younger generation through lucrative, fraudulent, exaggeration of their product. Whoa! Fraudulent? This is a big accusation to make. Okay? Lucrative, yeah. Fraudulent, I'm not so sure about. I don't think in this context of this essay, you can accuse a company of that. Okay, so for me, that's inappropriate use of language. When foreign investors or franchises establish a business, and I think you're talking about a business, a business yeah, overseas. So just add that in. They mainly, okay, or frequently target, you don't target for, target the growing younger generation through lucrative, um, appealing, and um, appealing and uh, attractive, maybe campaigns. Excuse me. Okay, attractive campaigns, and then I would go highlighting, uh, highlighting their product qualities. Okay. Their product quality. So this is a slightly more neutral tone. This is an academic essay. Uh, so it's very important that you are professional in the kind of choice of words that you're using here. Um, through lucrative, appealing, and attractive campaigns, highlighting that lighted their product's quality. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, this is all right. Um, but I think really, um, I think it might be better here just to explain the impact that, that this has. Not really, you're not really being asked to comment on the product. You're being asked to comment on, you know, is this a, the, the impact that this might have on other companies? So you say here they might be advertising cosmetics, chroma electronics, transport, which might not be available for this at all. Everyone has the right to their own choices. Okay, this I would take out because I think this is not, again, this is very much your opinion, which I don't think is appropriate for this. So I think this is okay. Um, okay. Um, as you could say something like, as these products become mainstream or popular, among the uh, popular, the um, negative impact may be um, seen on local businesses which cannot compete either in price or in. Um, Price or in cultural uh, um, something like that. No, I'm just trying to think out loud here. Um, so what I want to say is that as products become mainstream, the negative impact may be seen on local businesses which cannot compete own cultural um, equality or something like that. Or appropriate. Ah, yeah, let's just go equality for now. Uh, what I'm trying to say is if you take, for example, I'm thinking of a company like McDonald's, for example. Okay, let's keep this simple here. 
McDonald's. So McDonald's do fantastic advertising everywhere. They come into your country. They are very popular with a lot of people. And everyone's thinking, well, hang on a minute. Where, what's happened to my local restaurant? My local restaurant is closed down because I can't go there anymore because McDonald's, everyone's going to McDonald's instead. So I think you need to keep your uh, ideas sort of explaining the impact of this. This is a good sentence here. So explaining the impact of that. Uh, so yes, you could have your comment about that. You know, you could have additionally. Campaigns may orientate around products which are not needed something like that okay i mean i don't think you'd spend money on a campaign in a country if you didn't think there was a need so i think they probably do think there's a need but to illustrate the point um now i would prefer you not to have a personal example in here use the example great well done great that you've got experience of this which is lovely um but so um to illustrate the point um, local, uh, I don't know where you are, I'm so sorry, local Dubai company or something, or a recent article in the Dubai press has highlighted that um, women prefer this, 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 rather than that, 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 okay? Or women are more inclined to buy products which respect their social, cultural norms rather than uh, products which disrespect these. Something like that. So we say with um, examples transform and depersonalize. Remember, this is an academic essay, so it is very important that you do not use the you as an example. Okay, this is a kind of illusion with our helps people think it's okay. It's definitely not okay. Uh, however, international marketing has brought trade and commerce to a whole new level. Of sustainability you would want to have it's not sustenance the sustainability and flourishment because uh, people come to know so come to know it's not very high level people um, access information or people have been informed about foreign fashion style cuisine geography to this exposure um, okay and then what is what is good about this oh, sorry okay which allows them not to understand and appreciate yeah different cultures different way of life uh different traditions that sort of thing okay uh also so rather than also you could have furthermore which is a little bit higher level uh, many companies focus on the native customers and mimic their ways in production marketing to well integrate their needs with a displayed product okay so uh uh, to well integrate, I'd say to better integrate and adapt their adapt their product to local needs, other way around, their product to local needs. For instance, a Norwegian company is reputed for upholding financial and cricket. Oh, nice! A cricket is spirit. Cricket is the uh, and use cricket as core identity or brand, core theme maybe and identity in the spirit of their promotion. Okay, nice, very nice example there. Good. Uh, so, I don't want to know this essay encapsulates. So, here I want, um, in conclusion, I believe that. Boom. Okay? Give me your opinion. What do you think? You can't, you need to decide one way or the other uh, for the spirit for this essay. I don't mind what you really think, but for this essay, you need to tell me one or the other. It's a great thing because of this. However, a mm, bit cautious because of that. Okay? Um, so, we're, we're uh, so, I believe that the benefits. Um, are more significant than that than this. However, the market should be regulated, something like that. 
Okay, uh, don't give me this at the end because that's sort of philosophy. I like the words, but I don't need this kind of personal comment again at the end. Okay, so you've got lots of fantastic stuff in this essay, but I can see, I hope you can, I'm here. The few issues just maybe on the organization and just on the um, how you're presenting your opinion to me. Uh, we need to work on academic language here, making sure this is really kind of professional in your approach, taking out some of the more personal comments, which just don't work with this sort of essay. Um, but you've got some lovely ideas, some nice vocabulary in there. We could work as well on upgrading the grammar. So you're showing the examiner some more fancy grammar, some more complex grammar maybe in there. Um, it would be great to know your IELTS story. What have you scored before? Be really useful. Okay, let me know. Uh, so here we've got uh, letter, right? Okay, so um, okay, whoa, okay, task one, 150 words. So you need to get this done 20 minutes, boom, 160, 170 maximum. Don't spend more time on this, it's not worth it. Okay, you don't get more marks. This, the more marks is for task two. I'm regard, writing with regard to my first travel to the UK. Yeah, my first trip to the UK, we would say, not travel. I'm going to stay at your home. I'm looking forward to, looking forward to staying at your home for six months from next April. I'm a new apprentice. Apprentice. I don't think you need that. I would cut that. Okay. Currently, I work as a banker. So you can tell me where you're from. Yeah. Okay. I am from wherever. Yeah. Uh, currently, I work as a banker, and I and am. You need to have am there, part of your present continuous. Planning to immigrate to Canada. Uh, emigrate, we would use. Slightly different to Canada. However, master English quickly paid off my visa. Uh, I don't need the punctuation because that does the same. Hence, this visit. Well, therefore, I am visiting. Uh, yeah, therefore, I'm. Uh, my visa um so this so the main reason for my trip but equally i don't think you need it i think you could cut that bit as well okay okay i'm just going to underline it it's not wrong i don't want you to think it's wrong sorry to confuse you there it is not wrong it's just i think uh, you could cut it too much. Okay. Uh, I was thinking about some aspects of my stay in the UK, and so keep going here. And the program entitles me to move around as much as I can. Entitles me, mm, encourages me, maybe as much as I can. So I would love, rather than I need, I wouldn't write I need. It's a little bit strong. I would love. What maybe you could guide me on some recommendations. So this is this kind of tone of this letter needs to be neutral, informal. Okay, neutral, informal tone, uh, but possible, not probable here. Possible or the best maybe. A visit to various historical and cultural spots in the city. Uh, you don't need that not too far from your place um, as or because I intend to come back every night. Also, would you guide me me on how much to budget on a weekly basis? Ah, oh, how much to budget on a weekly basis? Mm, because, so I would take out this that is an impossible question to answer. Nobody can tell you that because it depends how much money you've got um, on a weekly basis because I also need to know about transportation or because I am concerned about, that might be better, I'm concerned about transportation. Yeah? Okay, so that would be the reason why you're asking about the money. Um, I'm supposed to arrive in London, have a in the morning, when? Okay, just go, morning on April Oops. 
third. Um, so you could cut that. Let's go. Um, I'll call you. Yes, I mean you kind of don't. You kind of don't need that. Just yeah, because I'm happy to get a taxi. What's up? So I can. Okay, let's keep this be precise. It's not about writing a lot, it's about writing it correctly. Looking forward to meeting you and having exciting, unprecedented, maybe exciting, uh, me, or just meeting you and your family. Okay, instead of your sincerely here, um, you, you, so dear Sir or Madam, uh, is not right. Uh, so, dear, it's you know the names, I expect, dear Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, comma, and then you, if you start like that, which would be more correct, you're going to end up with, your sincerely is okay, but a little, maybe a little bit formal, I would show the examiner something like kind regards, so that you know this is neutral, informal, and not a formal one, okay? Sorry, this is a very long correction for you. Oh dear. Um, okay, I really hope you found this useful. Uh, please have a look if you have time before your exam or if you like what we do. Uh, have a look at the online course. So Ben, the boss, is doing some really, really good discounts at the moment for everybody who's in lockdown. We really want to support you. So the course takes you through many aspects of IELTS, particularly writing, um, and just really shows you step by step how to build this perfect essay. And we could work together. I'd be doing corrections for you. Um, you would have a total of eight corrections, and I'm really happy to give you uh, two extra. So the total would be 10 corrections, which can really get you the grade you want. Fantastic. Thank you. Take care.